M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Yeah, some of you may not have realized that if you've got an FTM300, there has actually been a, a small firmware change. And this happened on the July 2021. And what they did, it was the only number that's changed. Now I'll show you how to check your firmware version. Here's my little video from before. So what you do is select display then number five is software version select that with the big button there is your software version right so look if you look here and this is an older one but look on your own radio now this is the latest one 1.40 and then the sub is 1.20 and the, the version is 7.11 now my radio is currently showing 1.20 on the main and let's have a look on the sub 1.1 so it's 1.2 and on the dsp version it's 7.11 so there is a change there so if you want to find this firmware update let's go down here and we're on the yesu site and let's have a look firmware adms version Pro firmware update 2021 there it is there so let's just click it a minute uh, I haven't even looked at it to be honest so that's the latest one I have done a video in the past on how to do this how to do the update uh, it's not a great video but I'll still I'll copy it and I'll put it in this video for, you know put the link in so you can see how to do it so what does it fix the new um, firmware version Let's have a look. Fixed a bug that rarely captured images were not saved correctly when using the optional microphone with camera MH85A11. So it looks like it doesn't fix a lot. So I'm not sure if it's really worth it. A commercially available USB cable is required for the update. So I think we use the cable in the box, I think. Update manuals for main and DSP are available. So uh, yeah, hope this helps. Get your radios fully up to date. You know how we like to find any reason to have a little tinker. So 7-3, uh, please subscribe if you find this helpful. All the best.